What is up guys, it's your boy Jake from Team Insanity. Today I'm bringing you the Push Division 1 gear bag, backpack I should say, not gear bag, backpack review. So a lot of you guys know I've had this backpack for a long time, I just actually recently did the Push Unite goggle review. Um, now let me first talk about backpacks and bags, gear bags, yada yada, differences. I have three rolling gear bags, big gear bags. I've had four paintball backpacks, four manufactured paintball backpacks. All of those backpacks, four including this one I should say, so three other brands. All three of those lasted me about a season. When I mean a season, I mean like, like not January until December kind of thing. Not a whole year, I mean like a season, like seven months total, like six, seven months total, and then they're gone, they're ripped because I use them like crazy. I love backpacks, backpacks are my favorite thing to use. The reason why is I hate gear bags. I hate rolling around giant gear bags to the field when I'm going to play, you know, rec ball or even practice. The only time I honestly ever bring my gear bag is if it's a big game, and when I mean a big game, like, I mean like a big game. And I normally, I'll still bring a backpack to a big game. Nine times out of ten, even if I'm going to a big game, I'll bring a backpack. Especially if it's a two to three day scenario. I'll take all of my paintball stuff and put it in my gear bag. And then I'll take all my other stuff. Like, you know, if I'm camping, which happens at some events. Or if I'm at a hotel, you know, all my toiletries, my clothes, uh, extra pairs of shoes, that kind of stuff. I put it in my backpack. This is no different with the Push Backpack. This is actually the first product I ever bought from Push. I bought this before the mask was actually certified to be sold in the United States. So I gave Push a test. This was the year that they came out at World Cup 2000, last year, I should say. So not this year, not 2018. This was came out in 2016. This bag is when I bought it. Me uh, and John Reeves, both of us, we actually bought these together. John also has a review on his channel that's called the Peanut Butter Fit or the PB Fit if you type it in on your search bar. He has a review of this bag as well if you guys want a second look at it. But let's dive into this gear bag here. Now I've done, I did like interviews with the push people in their booth. So first things, you have these nice really rigged straps. This isn't like, you know, your typical school like like your normal backpack like your kindergartner gets. These are pretty, these are like pretty much military standard, like these are really heavy duty straps. I'm not worried about these ripping at all, quite honestly. The other thing is too, I carry a lot of heavy shit in my, in my backpacks. I carry a lot of guns. Sometimes I have two to three tanks of all kinds of different things in there. And these straps have still not let me down. I've packed 30 pounds, 20, 30 pounds of stuff in this, which is kind of hard to do considering that backpacks are smaller. I can pack 30, 40 pounds in my gear bag and be plenty, plenty more than enough. But if I'm sitting here and I'm packing this this thing full, it can get a lot, it can get really heavy on these straps and they haven't failed on me. So I have to say that they have a really, really good shoulder, the, the shoulder strap harness is actually a really, really good system. They also have a little, a little, uh, strap belt thing right here. I don't ever use it because I feel like it's choking me. I wish it was moved down a little bit. Um, I could probably move it down, but I honestly just never really use them. That's just, I don't know, I just never, I don't know, it's just like I'm being hugged too much. So, uh, yeah, the straps overall are really nice. This is what the backpack looks like on the back. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So I have this bad boy packed up. So this is what the front looks like. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna go over it on the ground so that way you guys can see some portions of it. But this is what it looks like standing packed. I could pack more stuff into this, but I didn't just because I just didn't want this review to be 30 minutes of me unpacking a gear bag. So let me put the camera down towards the ground. I'm gonna sort of go over this gear bag for you a little bit more in depth. So this is sort of a better angle for me to unbox this and sort of show you everything. This bag all right on here, this is the whole Maui system. So you can actually attach different things like you know, like the Maui vests out there that scenario players use. This is the same thing. So you can run different things in here. Uh, I've got a little strap over here. You know, sometimes I'll hang like an extra mask. I use this bag 99% of the times when I travel, if you guys follow us on the Team Insanity Snapchat, I pretty much run that whole thing. Um, when I travel, I've been out of the state for the past six months. I've been to a different state every for the last six months, like I said. So 
I've traveled every single month that I've traveled for the past six months. I brought this backpack with me every single time. I've flown with this backpack. I've checked this backpack. And that's why my backpacks don't last. That's why I ha I've owned so many of them because I just beat the shit out of them and I overpack this. Now, again, I overpack this like crazy. One of the first things that I want to talk about is the quality of the stitching and the quality of the zippers. I don't know what they're using in terms of zippers, but they're using like some zippers on steroids because these zippers, I'm surprised, haven't had any issues. They're super strong zippers, which I'm super impressed with. So good job to push. And the other thing is that I'll get some close-ups so you can see on the screen. Um, it's not busting open on the seams. So with this bad boy packed, it's not like there's little holes and little rips. Everything here is still 100% intact. There's only a couple areas that I've seen that don't that, that sort of have some issues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the outside right now, like I said. So this is on the Maui system. So Push is coming out with some new stuff to put on the sides. One of the biggest thing that I really want to try is that they have like this prototype tank holder thing. So you can put your tank into it on the side. And why I like that is because it's kind of hard to pack tanks, especially in a normal big rolling gear bag. Tanks are round. They don't really fit anywhere really well. It's you can't really like they're kind of a pain to, to to carry around. So right here on the side, these pockets are ginormous. So right here, I'll open up this little pocket. You'll see I can go almost you look at how deep this pocket is. So I can go past my wrist into my forearm and the pocket extends from here all the way around and there's two of these pockets so it goes all the way around which is really cool so these are some really really nice pockets that you can put whatever you want in here normally if I'm flying I'll put like you know random stuff I'll put like my boarding pass uh, medication uh, I, I don't know just pretty much anything I'll put right in here just odds and ends stuff when I'm playing paintball I'll put you know a lot of times I'll just put some like random stuff like sunscreen or you know just random stuff like that any nothing really too crazy again both pockets exactly the same I like to put flat things in here because pretty much like every backpack when you start to pack the backpack full this it starts to constrict your pocket sizes so that's just sort of that when you have a full backpack you can't really put like you know a loader or anything in here because it, it, it's all connected to one so you can put flat things in here o-rings uh, you can put some squeegees in there if you really wanted to that kind of stuff right here on the side you have a whole nother pocket when I'm traveling I'll actually depending upon where I, what I'm doing this whole pocket right here on the side I'll actually put like if depending upon like I said what I'm doing if I'm traveling and I have schoolwork, I'll put my small laptop in here. I'll put like, you know, my tablet. Anything that I want, I can put it right in here. And it's nice and protected because it has like this nice back support. And there's also all the gear on the inside. So I can put my, like a, like a small laptop. I can normally fit that in there and it's nice and flat so it doesn't take up and it doesn't hurt my back. I wouldn't necessarily put anything bumpy in this backpack or this this portion of the back because like I said, it's whatever you put it right in here, you're gonna be directly feeling it on your back. But so that's cool that they have a nice pocket back here. Great for you know laptops, that kind of stuff. They also right here, this is one of the areas that I'm starting to see ripping. So right here, I can see some ripping up here on the seam. So that, honestly, I'm not surprised at for where it's at because of, like I said, of how much weight I put on these is that I'm not surprised that that's where this is ripping. There's also like a little holding strap up here. This pocket right here, there's a, there's a whole another little compartment right here that you can slide my hand into. I can get elbow deep. So again, I can put whatever I want in here, uh, a tablet, basically whatever I want. If I'm going to play paintball, actually one of my favorite things that I put here is I'll slide like a, like a bag, like or those netted bags, like those laundry bags, and I'll pull it out when I'm done playing and I'll put all my dirty clothes in it. So that's basically what I use this portion for if I ever really use it. But again, nice padded back, nice little push name tag right here. The other thing is that right here, I'll get you a better shot, is that they have a, an entire rain lid, a rain poncho thing for the gear bag. So, but this is the only issue is that I think they need to make it bigger because when my when it's full, I can't get it over the top all the way. So I have this bad boy full. I can't necessarily, I, I can't 
you know, I, it needs to be a little bit bigger. So when this when this thing is filled up, I can't get it over all the way. Now, like I said, this is packed a little bit more. If I wouldn't have had this mask in here, I could get away with it. But I have this bad boy packed up really nice and neat, so I can't really, you know, get this over top but you know if you're in the pits and it's raining and you have all your gear on you throw this bad boy over and your bag is not going to get wet so if you put stuff inside of it you're not going to have you know any wet spots any wet gear anything like that but overall that's really cool that they actually thought about that and that just comes out right right here right at the very bottom you basically just shove it back in whenever you're done with it. Again, I wish they would have made it a little bit bigger um, for when it's overpacked. But when I'm traveling, especially like if I get off a plane and I have to walk someplace and it's raining, um, I can normally always just throw that bad boy on. Up here, you also have the Velcro. I have my Falcon Corpse patch there, uh, push name, their push numbers. I also have an Echo One thing that someone gave me. Right up in here, I can pull out the little hook. So you can hang your gear bag on anything. Really cool feature. And again, as much as I've used this, this thing has not ripped, which is super surprising up here. I'm surprised that it hasn't done any sort of ripping. And quite honestly, this hook hasn't fallen out either when I'm just, you know, walking around doing daily activities, which is really nice. So it's not like I have a random hook hanging around. There's also another pocket right up here on the top. Not super deep, but I do put, you know, random stuff in there again. So... Now, this is what we all want to wait, what we want to get into. The really cool reason, the, the way that this is designed is it's designed to fit a lot of stuff in here. And how it folds open is basically how it can fit all this stuff. So I've gotten a lot of people into this gear bag. I've, I've you know, basically I've told a lot of my friends and I've gotten a lot of people to buy them. And this is one of the reasons why is that how you, how you fold this open, you can see how it opens up. It opens up like a big flower or like a butterfly. So you can close up everything and basically condense everything down. So that's why you can fit so much stuff in there, which is really cool. So upon opening this bad boy, you have, I have my die rotor. Like I said, I'm not going into... Um, I, I packed this just for reviewing purposes. I might do a gear bag video later, but if there was some way, if there's a better way for me to carry something, I nine times out of ten, I will not put my, my hopper or my tank in there because it just gets really awkward to pack and it gets really weird to fold up. So nine times out of ten, if I'm carrying two gear bags around or depending upon what I'm doing, I won't have this and I won't have this in there. So, and again, the other thing is with the waterproof strap and the Maui system too is that that waterproof this that waterproof poncho thing won't go over top of it if you have a bunch of stuff hanging off but off the Maui system. But again, I wish that there was some some more stuff. Obviously, they're still I wouldn't say they're a newer company, but they are sort of a little bit of a newer company in terms of this. So I'm still waiting for new Maui system stuff to come out. If they could figure out a way to um put like a hopper carrier in like another tank carrier I that would make this so much nicer because you could have a hopper on one side and like a tank on the other side and it'd just be much easier to have it organized on the inside that's the flaw with hoppers and tanks I mean just in general uh, but in terms of reviewing purposes again it does fit a tank and a hopper very well I put a rotor in there that's the R2 so that is one of the bigger rotors uh, knee pads so I can fit my knee pad I have everything in here for a full day play. Got my Exalt knee pads, die elbow pads. I also have my Exalt thrashers, so I have my uh, my pads. I have my pants. Here's my jersey. Here's also another jersey that I packed. I've got squeegees right here. I, obviously, you can fit more stuff. And then right here, you get to the netted portion. Normally, right here, I'll put like my change of clothes. Um, so I have my Lone Wolf. I got one of my 50 Lone Wolf paintball shirts, and I also have a Detroit paintball shirt here. So normally, I'll put you know that kind of stuff there. Uh, nice little itty bitty mesh pocket to keep everything sort of separated if you want to do something like that. Right here on the side, you can fit. A very very nice nice barrel kit in here if you really want to so I have a 6 690 685 680 675 and a barrel tip for my Empire Resurrection right in here it seems like the velcro is starting to starting to take a beating on the inside of here that keeps this latch the, these two little velcro pieces it's kind of coming a little bit stringy but again in terms of how much I've used this backpack I'm surprised that it's held up as much as it has 
I have my full uh, Empire Resurrection right here in the side pocket. So you have enough room to fit a gun right here. You can also slide, if I'm carrying a gun with a gun case, I'll actually slide my gun cases into this little mesh pocket and I'll stack everything else on top of it. So I have a gun, tank, hopper, barrel kit, a full barrel kit. Other thing that I also want to get into is that Right here is a little tech mat. This is cool. Push is basically the only company that has this really cool tech mat built into almost all of their stuff. So right here, this is a magnetic strip system. So if you're at the field, actually it's right here. But if you're at the field, this magnetic strip system, it's not like magnets that you put on a refrigerator. So it's not like it's super powerful or anything. So it's not going to ruin your loaders and it's not going to ruin the boards on your gun, which is really cool. But it's enough to where if you need to take something apart at the field, the magnets will hold your screws in place. Super solid design, something super smart, especially when you're at the field. Losing screws is always just the biggest pain in the ass ever. There's also two little side pockets here, nothing super deep. Normally what I'll put in here is I'll put a lube in this one and then like a couple O-rings in that one. That's basically it. Um, sometime, and then I'll like shove Allen wrenches some places in there. Another cool thing is right here, we'll open this portion up. This is another compartment. Here is where you keep your mask. I have the Push Unite right here. Review on the channel. The inside of this is all nice and microfiber, so it's nice and soft on the inside, so you don't want to store anything in here like, you know, you don't want to throw like old headbands that are like sweaty and have dirt and everything on it because the, the microfiber in here will hold the dirt. Uh, normally, I'll put like a microfiber right here for the end of the day. Here's a little mesh pocket. I'll normally put a microfiber right in here, so if there is any paint left over or anything that I need to wipe down, pull that bad boy out, wipe it off put my mask away. Zips up, again, I've had pretty much every mask in here to the Empire EVSs, so this fits everything. I just fit the Unite goggles with the extra, uh, with the case on it. So that's something that's really cool. It can fit pretty much almost any goggle system. I haven't really run into one where it can't fit. Down here, this is something really cool. You have your paintball cleat section. I've got both of my cleats in there. Now this is not microfiber. This is like a very easy to clean. This is, uh, it's, it's very washable. Like you can get in there, spray it down. You can do whatever you want. It's very easy to clean, very easy to maintain. So this right here, guys, is the Push Paintball Backpack. Um, Overall, I have to say this is my favorite backpack I've ever owned. There's not even a question. The reason why is because of the durability of it and how it folds. You can see how much stuff that I fit in there, and I had room for more stuff. If I would have reorganized things a little bit differently, especially if I didn't have a tank and a hopper in there, if I wouldn't have had a tank and hopper in there, I could fit way more stuff. Normally, I can go two pants, two jerseys. Um, depending upon what guns I'm using, I can normally fit two guns in there as well. So normally, I can fit two whole setups in here, minus a gun or minus a tank and a hopper. That's normally the only things that I can't fit in here. And again, it basically folds up like a butterfly system. And there's so many zippers on this. Like I said, this has the most zippers out of any backpack that I've ever owned. There's zippers here, here. There's zippers here. Uh, this is Velcro, but again, there's a zipper running here. There's a zipper running here. Here. There's a zipper right here in the middle, and then there's two zippers again right here, and then uh, yeah, so there's two, like I said, two more zippers right here. There's zippers on the side. Out of all these zippers, I still haven't had one fail, and that's amazing considering how much stuff that I load into this bag. And again, here's another look at the at the nice uh, shoulder strap system. Very, it's a very very nice bag. I have to say, overall, this is my favorite backpack. Super durable. Hats off to Push Paintball overall. I've owned this thing for a long, for, for a decent amount of time. This is for sure definitely the, the, the longest a backpack has really ever owned me other than my school backpack, and that's because I don't travel with it. Just with traveling and everything in general, everything just takes a beating. So if you guys are thinking about getting a backpack, this is definitely the way to go. Like I said, I use backpacks more than I use gear bags because this is so much easier to carry around at the field. If you guys are thinking about it, it's a little bit more expensive than going to like your Dick's Sporting Goods and getting a backpack, but let me tell you, I've done that before. You can use your school backpack 
but just spend the extra money because these zippers are quality, the stitching is quality, it's not coming apart at the seams. The only place where I really have it coming apart and, and tearing a little bit is right back here. Like I said, that's honestly the only area that I really see anything like that's super devastating happening. And this is just a super, super thick material. So overall, I have to say, Good job, Push Paintball. I don't have any of their other gear bags. I'd be willing to, to own some of their other gear bags. I don't yet. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll pick some up here in the future. I really like this, this strap system too, like I said. So if you guys are thinking about buying something, also another cool thing is on the zippers, they have like the little matching, these little matching doohickey things that actually uh, like attached to the zippers that are easy to grab onto. Mine doesn't have all of them on there. I don't know why I just didn't get enough of them when I bought the backpack, but whatever. I'm not too heartbroken over it. It'd be nice to have it finished, but again, overall, I can't wait to see them come out with new stuff for the Maui system to see if they can get, you know, some, some more stuff to actually integrate to you know to basically add on to this to make sure that you can carry even more stuff now i know the one thing that i did leave out was my paintball pack i don't actually pack my pack in here um, and like I said, for reviewing purposes, nine times out of 10, what I do with my paintball pack is I take the Velcro and I just wrap the pack around. So I'll have the Velcro right here of the Velcro portion right there. And then right on this front portion, my pack will just hang there and I'll just keep all my pods loaded in my pack and it'll just dangle there. So that's basically what I do with my pack if you guys are wondering. Again, the other cool thing is that when you have this thing zipped up, if you really want to, if you're not carrying that much stuff, they have like these little hooks right here that you can hook into and you can actually, you know, make your bag more condensed. There's little handles. So overall, this is the best backpack I've ever owned. If you guys are thinking about getting a, getting a bag or anything like that, definitely look at Push Paintball. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great rest of your day.